Right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part two of the Makuni BS34 stripped down refurb and reassembly. As you saw in the last episode, everything was broken down, and as I left it as it is on the bench now, there's just a few more little bits to take off. I had to soak a few of the screws so I can actually get. Uh, the side diaphragms off but I'll show you that in a second there's a couple more bits we can take off the actual spring mechanism so we'll go through that ultrasonic cleaners out as I say I only use a, a small three litre ultrasonic cleaner so that should be enough to get one in there comfortably at a time so we'll take off the few parts that are left to do and then I'll get them set up and get it put in. I'll probably run each carb for about uh, 20 minutes, have a look, and then probably run them for another 20 minutes, so 40 minutes per carb, just to give them a thorough clean through. So obviously for four carbs, that's gonna take me some time. And then I'll work backwards through the float bowls, everything will go in, but I'll just do it a carb at a time. So let me show you where everything is from as we left it in the last episode, and then we can take off the last few bits. So everything's still laid out on the bench. Carb number one, two, three, and four. As we left it, I'd actually soaked these screws, they were quite tight. I've actually now managed to loose them off so we'll take them out in a second. It should be a diaphragm and a spring. They are sprung loaded so be careful when you actually take these out because it could pop off. There's a small spring in the centre. Also on the actual float, uh, the actual mechanism there that will actually come off as a circlip on this side and the M1 circlip there so I can take that off probably do them separately just so I can get these springs clean the center ones I'll have to have a look at so let me get the camera set up and I'll take these out. So we'll just concentrate on number one to start with. Those three small screws probably advisable as you're undoing the second one just to keep your thumb in the center you can see it now springing as you'll see in a second there's a spring with a cap So there's the actual cover. And there's the actual spring with the cap in it. And there's the actual diaphragm. And that's exactly the same. On the other three carbs. So I just used a very fine small screwdriver. I don't want to perforate the diaphragm. And that then comes
comes out. So then I can get all that cleaned as well. So for now, we'll leave the first one as it is. So I need now need to take off the other diaphragm caps from the other three. And then I'll lay them out as you see there. All right, so now they're all out. I've left them at the back in the order they came out from <clears throat> and the particular carb. Right, so the next job, I was actually unaware, a gentleman called David kindly put it in the comments. The actual diaphragms, I'd actually laid them down. He said don't because it'll warp and damage the actual rubber diaphragm itself. His suggestion, either a piece of polystyrene if you want to keep the needle in place. Or if not, these can be cleaned. Just pop the needles out. So again, it just pushes up. And pops out. So if I leave them at the back, I know that's flat. And then exactly the same for the other two. So again, it's all about learning. I'm not used to these carbs, it's the first time they've been stripped to this extent. So then I'll leave them at the back. Right, so the next one. Again, all part of stripping down, all part of learning. I'll leave a link in the description to the cmsnl.com uh, fish picture of the breakdown of the carbs. It's actually a single picture which breaks all the carbs down as one. And then there's a group picture which you can find also on, the, uh, on that same page. So as I say, link in the description for that. Go check that out. So next one. It's actually this washer. Inside. Again, put that in the float bowl. And that is the actual tube. The brass tube you can see. So we need to knock that through. So I'll try a socket extension. I have given these a soak yep they're starting to go and if you can see it starting to come through There's the tube. Again, that will go through the cleaner. And it's exactly the same on the other three to actually knock that through. Next one on the back is actually this cap. Should be able to get it with pliers. Yep, 
Yep. Again, that will need to be cleaned. And it's pretty gunky in there. Right, hopefully. That should start to come out. Yep. And there it is. That is in there. So that should be everything out. There are parts missing I know. Uh, one gentleman pointed out the ball bearings the slot in behind the choke mechanism that's there not there. So now all I need to do is repeat the process for the other three and then these should be good to go into the ultrasonic. Right, so ultrasonic's now heated up. Like I said before, I'm not going to run it with the camera rolling because it interferes and it makes a hell of a racket. Obviously, protective gloves and eyewear when dealing with this, just in case it splashes. So this is only a small one so it doesn't actually fit everything in so I'll have to do 20 minutes aside so that'll be the first one in and I'll let that run I'll probably try and get two through and then I'll call it a day and then we'll bring you back in the next episode where I should have everything through the ultrasonic Right, so that's two done. I'll probably run them through a bit more. There's a little bit just in there. They've basically had about half an hour each. So I'll get the water changed, put some more fluid in, and then crack on with basically everything else and start cleaning of the outers the cases etc but again i appreciate all the feedback all the comments i get good bad indifferent if it's something i've done or i can learn if i've made a mistake i need to know it's all part of the learning process there are many people like me that are trying this or doing this for themselves and it's important to know So I like to take my time, so everything didn't go into the first episode, there was still more to do. But I'll get everything run through the ultrasonic, I'll clean up as much as I can. Next episode I'll probably bring you back for an update of how it's going, because this is going to take some time. I'm probably going to run these through probably a couple more times, just to make sure they're okay. But like I say, I'll leave a link to CMS NL in the description below for the fish pictures of the breakdown of the actual bits. I have noticed that where there should be washers, they've just perished. I may have a look at trying to take these actual slides apart, but we'll see how it goes. They are cleaning up quite nice, so I may leave them. Again, still undecided whether to actually paint the bodies or just leave them. It depends how well they come up. But I'm going to continue on 
Again, any comments in the comments box below. Links to other videos at the end of the video. And as always, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Join me again in the next episode. Cheers. Bye.